Okay, so in this one, we're going to look at changing the lighting as opposed to directly making any more changes to the cameras themselves. So right now we have a well-lit environment and games like Outlast, are they're really for the most part in the dark. They're in uh, at nighttime. And so let's change our environment to a nighttime environment. The way you do that is when you go to window and you go to lighting, what you see up here is skybox. That's what this is. That's what this blue gradient background is. It's the skybox. Okay. So we need to create a new one. A skybox is ultimately a material. So right click, create material. We'll call this night sky. And over here you see the attributes. So if you go to shader, you go to skyboxes, three types. Six sided is just what it sounds like. You have the environment is surrounded by six images, top, bottom, and the four walls. So it's six sided. We're going to skip cube map for now, and we're going to look at procedural. That's what this background, this, uh, excuse me, the skybox currently is. It's a procedural. So if you click on procedural, you can see this looks suspiciously like that. So let's reduce the exposure, make it much darker. Sky tint, let's also give that like a bluish hue. And let's make atmosphere a little bit thicker or a little less thickness rather. We're making it a small number. So that gives it a nice blue color. Let's make it just a wee bit darker. Okay, so now we've created night sky. So where it says skybox, default skybox, click on the little circle, and these are all the materials. So choose night sky, and immediately it changes. That alone makes it look a lot darker. Now this definitely looks darker now, even though we haven't made any changes beside the skybox. So if we click on directional light, okay, let's change this to like a blue color. So click where it says color, click on blue, and now you can see that this has like a bluish hue to it. We'll choose a darker blue. And we'll run it. And there we go. So we basically have like a nighttime environment now. So again, the two things we did is we went up to window we went down to lighting, we created a new material, skybox type, and set it to the skybox. Then the other thing that we did is the only light we have, we changed it to a much darker color, to a blue color. You can also make changes to intensity and things like that, but honestly, I, I'm happy with the way that this looks. Um, and really all those other changes, while certainly they're, they're legitimate, um, they're also a matter of aesthetics. It's not right or wrong, it's whatever you think uh, looks right, whatever uh, visual style you're trying for. So now that we have a night environment, we need a camera light. So I might jump ahead after I, I do the basics of this because um, like a lot of other aspects of Unity, uh, it's the little details that you, you have to keep uh, tweaking to make it right. But we'll do the, the big ones first. So game object, light, spotlight, increase the range. It's probably actually not enough. Let's increase it up to like 80. Looks close, but it's not. The Z is 41. So if you point at the letter next to the uh, coordinate and if you push it so if you point you click and then you push left or right it alters that coordinate okay so we want this to be much closer so we'll bring this to like yeah, close to zero now it's too low because it's negative 11 so we'll raise that up and there you go now you can see the light so the bottom line is the light was just below where we wanted it to be and being at three is just about right. So now we need to rotate this. So zoom out, 
rotate this, and now we do need to lower the Y some more. So point, click, drag to the left to lower the number, and that looks more like it. So at a certain point here, I'm just going to jump ahead because now I've gone through the basics uh, as far as um, positioning the light, what are the attributes that make a difference, um, and now it's just a matter of getting what you want um, as far as the exact look. I believe spot angle we're going to increase a little bit, range will increase a little bit more, and intensity. So those are really three important ones, intensity, range, and angle. Uh, having said that, color, we already changed the color for the other light, but um, there's different applications as to why you would use something other than uh, just white. So let's run that. And that actually looks really close to what we want. The light is probably a little bit, uh, hits a little bit too close to the player. So you probably want that to be up a little bit more. And at a certain point, it's, it's really arbitrary as far as what you want. But that's probably a good place to end for here. Uh, like I said, this demonstration really wasn't about the uh, cameras this time. It was really more about the lighting. So now you have a dark skybox. Now you have a dark light. The zoom still works. So that's about it. We might have another lesson deal with lighting like uh, Outlast does have a, um, a night vision mode where the screen is green. So probably if we did that, we would um, get rid of the image of the camera and get rid of the second view. And then what we'd say is that the, the full screen is really the night vision because that's usually what they did too. And then we could look at doing like a green lighting, but it's really just a variation of what we did now where um, you would make the skybox green, you would make the light green, but there'd still be an issue where you'd have some darkness here. So you'd probably, let's just jump to that. The ground here would still be brown, so you'd probably have to change the ground to a green color as well. So by doing that, the background sky would be green, the ground would be green, and the light gives everything like a green hue. So uh, maybe we'll do one video for that, but otherwise, um, that's probably it for lighting. Um, if there's anything else you want to see, but I think that covers the basics now. Um, all right, so we'll see if anyone wants anything else, and we'll end this one here.